What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Grizzo's Cards. Today I'm going to be doing a order review off Beckett Marketplace. We did this one previously when we ordered from the collector's friends out of New York. Today we are doing an order from AU Sports Memorabilia uh, based out of Illinois. Uh, this is an order I placed on Beckett Marketplace. Looking to f again fill some holes in my Barry Arkin collection. A uh, couple of player, other players as well. I was like to see a few other players that I collect what they have in stock. Uh, since cards are pretty cheap, um, I think free shipping was $25 in order and over. So I think I spent about $30 picking up some cards. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, I did recently open up a box of 2021 Diamond Kings where I picked up the two cards in the back there. If you want to check out that video and see what that product looks like. So the order came in this nice large bubble mail here. I think I had some old oversized cards in the order. Um, so I was curious how they would ship those uh, from their like 1988 Topps Big Larkin or 89. So again, got my order list from Beckett. Check that off here. And then it came in like this with some scotch tape. I always like to see how people package their orders. It's like everything's surrounded by cardboard. Everything's there. We got two little team bags sealed up here. Got our extra piece of cardboard moved out of the way. And these are kind of the two oddball cards that I got in the order. Trying to get this open without bending them too much. These cards are always, oh, they put them in a team bag, that's what this is. These oddball cards are always kind of hard to figure out how you're gonna put them in your collection. Um, Cause they don't, if you do binders, they don't fit very well in your sleeves. Uh, so first up we have, this is a 1990, it looks like. Uh, Tops Big Barry Larkin. I remember buying packs of these. I think I have the 88 and 89 versions for Larkin. And the other oddball, you've got a nice little crease there. Um, can't remember. I assume everything when I picked it out said near mint to mint condition, but you never know. I mean, a lot of this stuff is pretty old. This is, does it have a date on here? 1981. Uh, this was, I want to say it was like an MDA. Maybe fundraiser coin. I forget what that card was called. Um, so yeah, well, at least they kind of fold it over to scotch tape there. So that's nice. Right, let's see what we got in this bag. Once I got close to 50 cards total. So again, pretty much everything was around 50 cents. Uh, so this is a glossy send in Pete Rose, uh, 1985. We have a 1987 Fleer Record Setters. And I picked up a couple Carl Erskins I didn't have. Uh, I forget what this is. This is a Baseball Legends Pacific. Is that the year 1988? Uh, this is, I believe, is an 89 Sports Flicks. Or maybe it's 1990 Barry Larkin. Nice and crisp. Okay, 1989. Uh, we got, they had a lot of these stickers that I didn't have. So it's a 90. These are all the old Panini stickers. Here's another Topps Glossy Send-In with a 1990 Larkin. Got another sticker sliding through here. Uh, a couple players on the back there. I don't recognize them. Um, there's Barry on the back of the card. Several different variations. Um, when you look at different checklists online, there'll be different stickers on the back. So I don't know if I'll necessarily get all the variations, but I don't think I had the back card at all. Uh, here we have an action packed Carl Erskine. I remember these cards, especially with football, to kind of the they're embossed and raised. We have a, a 1992 tops uh, gold. This is the winner. Uh, it has the correct T name. Uh, if you're not familiar with these, there's an error version where it says Astros. I do have that one, so I think this is the only gold one that I was missing. Uh, this was just a black gold redemption if you were a winner 
Um, you got this checklist, you can see Barry down there. I think I have the regular one. Um, I don't think I've shown off any of Jermaine Allen's word cards yet on the channel. I haven't really picked up any recently. Uh, he's a guy I went to high, my, my high school a couple years ahead of me. Um, so he made it to the big a little bit with Pittsburgh. So he does have a lot of cards, so I just kind of try and pick them up when I can find them. Um, don't want to pay over a dollar for any base cards or anything off eBay. So I usually when I look at Beckett Marketplace to see if I can find some. Uh, we have a Bowman. What year is this? This is 94 Bowman working. We have a Leaf Limited. A Silver Signature Collector's Choice. This is a 95 score. I believe these were called Gold Rush Parallel. A select 1995 Certified Edition. Uh, Tops and Boss. This is the Gold Parallel. I didn't have that one. Looks pretty good. A little scruff down there, but hey, 95. These have probably been sitting in a monster box somewhere. Uh, another 95 Flare Ultra Gold Medallion. So I always wonder if these places like these orders. Don't have to dig through a bunch of boxes to find a bunch of 50 cent cards or not. Uh, Pacific Collection. This one is a first rate 1996 Pinnacle. This one I think was more than. 50 cents probably give us an insert so cool looking card we have a 96 score starstruck uh, we have a score sample card uh, 97 Bowman 97 Circa and then we have another collector's choice Jermaine Allensworth rookie all right let's go ahead and get into the second team bag here again Nothing gonna be huge here, but just a lot of players that I personally collect. Just again filling some gaps in my collection. Looks like maybe sleeve something up here. <laughs> of all things, we got a collector's choice uh, sticker, Larkin, sleeved up. So yeah, I've done pretty well in getting like my 80s and early 90s done. So now I'm kind of got a hobby around 96. Um, 97 so late 90s stuff I don't have a lot of so this is like a Donruss XP maybe is that what that's called 98 we have a Topps Finest here we have another Jermaine Allensworth a Pacific Collection Pinnacle Inside, you remember Pinnacle Inside? They came in like cans, <laughs> and that's how you got your cards. They were pretty cool. I forget what else came inside the cans, or if it was just a can that had a player. Uh, we have a, a these 97 score, I think. Yeah, 97 score, and then we have the premium stock parallel. Uh, we have a Bowman, I want to say 98. Yeah, 98, and then we have a 98 Bowman Chrome. It's the international version. Uh, 98 Skybox Thunder. The Spirit of the Game. Barry Larkin. That one looks familiar. I'm almost wonder if I had that. Got another Finest Larkin. This one is an Omega. So say. Pacific, yeah, Pacific card. It's like I don't remember Omega. I don't have another base score Larkin. Um, this one is SP Radiance. It's kind of got a little bit of shine there. Um, that's embossed, uh, serial numbered, uh, 4500. So that's kind of when serial numbered came onto the scene there. Sometimes you get someone to say like one out of 10,000 or something, but they start getting the individually serial, serial numbered one. Uh, next, we have a SP Legendary Cuts Carl Erskine and another Carl Erskine 1952 World Series highlights. So that's my review. Uh, overall, I gotta say the cards are in pretty good condition. They came packaged pretty well. Um, you know, I did notice just decrease on this Pete Rose, but hey, again, free shipping. 
over $25. I think I spent $30, got about 50 cards. Again, just looking to plug my holes in the collection um, for these certain players. So overall, uh, yeah, I feel good about this order. Got a ton of cards. Now I got to go and catalog these, get them into my binders and everything. But yeah, let me know if you've used Beckham Marketplace, if you found good deals, if things are coming in good condition for you. Just curious what others' experience are. I'm sure i um, keep plugging these holes, so I'll be doing more orders. I'll uh, try to find a different dealer each time. Just give you a quick review and see how things come out. Uh, until next time, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and we'll see you next time.